Good to see you, Sean. I can predict the questions. All right, so when you walk into the room, they're going to know exactly who you are. <laughs> what are you going to tell them about why you should be their nominee? Well, I tell them I grew up near Kenneth Square, Pennsylvania, which is the mushroom capital of the world, and we were taught not to be treated like mushrooms. Don't, you know, don't sit in the dark and be fed manure all day long, and that's what Republicans have tolerated over the past uh, few years. And I think part of the message, and there's multiple, multiple prongs to it, is I can empower you. I've done it my whole life. Unlike the other candidates, I fought on the biggest stages out there, on some of the biggest battlefields with the biggest opponents. I took on Big Pharma. They actually dropped off my show, Sean, which, as you know, hosting a show, having your advertisers leave because they don't like what you said, it can be scary, but it was the right thing to do. I took on big tech, fought them aggressively and won. I took on big agrochemical companies, took them to task. I even fought the U.S. government because they were doing things, doing things that I thought were reprehensible, and I was going to stand up to them even if they intimidated me and tried to use the media against me, which, by the way, Fauci did numerous times during COVID to silence dissent, which is what, again, Republicans have been tolerant of when we can't anymore. Sean, I fought these battles. I've got scars to prove it. I cannot be bought. And when you fight on that stage, you learn how to take your lumps. You understand how to deal with the media. You also know what it takes to actually win. And I think I can be that bold, loud voice. I've got a big megaphone. The President uh, Trump put me on the President's Council for Sports, Fitness, and Nutrition for a reason, because you know I can make noise. And Pennsylvania deserves a big voice, a strong voice. Now, what are we going to say? Well, first off, we're going to focus on the fact that Washington got it wrong. And we all know the reasons why uh, they're, they're making mistakes. And I'm not going to go through the economy and energy and, you know, b boneheaded moves with our schools and on the border. That we can all, re you know, agree on as Republicans. But it's why they got it wrong. And it comes down to values. They have different values than you and me and the voters of Pennsylvania. They're willing to tolerate inflation and pay people not to work. They're okay with woke uh, education in schools and a border narrative that's false because it's really about human trafficking. They're okay with China taking us and eating our lunch, you know, cheating us at every level, taking advantage of our industries. Pennsylvania's lost the most manufacturing jobs of anybody. And China takes advantage of us at, across the board if they, if they are able to take advantage of our weakness and capture Taiwan, which again is 10% of the world semiconductors. These are big issues that we have to unify on as a nation and fight. So the question becomes, why Republican values censored? I'm the right, right person to say, guys, if you see it, say it. Doctor, you got a, one of the candidates that I talked to earlier today, got, he's done very well in the straw polls with the caucuses around the, the Commonwealth, but he doesn't have a ton of money. You got a lot of money. You got 100% name ID probably in the Commonwealth, but you're not necessarily doing well in those caucuses. W what do you need to do or how, how, what's the problem then? Well, I'm an outsider candidate, Sean. I was never competing to win the caucuses. This race is going to be won in the ballot box, and you've got to be in front of voters telling a story that they resonate to and to get them excited about it. So I'm barnstorming across the country. I'm not focused on talking to individual members of the party. I think I respect the process. I think it's a valuable one, but we're only going to win both the primary but also the general election, which is why I'm into this. I'm not interested in just winning the primary. The reason to vote for me is I have the best chance of beating the Democrats in the fall, because I will bring together a coalition of independents and conservative uh, Democrats who come along with all the Republicans who know what's going on and just need to get the right person in there. And every poll done so far that I've seen, I'm number one. You notice the other candidates talk about the fact that they're you know, in the top two in the polls. The guy who's number one with a double-digit lead is me. And that's because, as you point out, I have name ID, but people know who I am. I've been in your living room every day for 13 years. And so you're going to figure out that you like me, and if you do like me, and I can align with your values, which is what I've been focused on, and to your point, I've invested, and I'll invest whatever it takes to win this race, then people are going to say, yeah. They nod their head, and they're going to pull that lever when it's their turn on May the 17th. Okay. Dr. Oz, have a great weekend. Stay in touch with us. Take care, Sean. Stay well.